So audio. So the reason why I have this complicated setup is not because I need to, is simply be to exercise what I was learning. So number one, uh, let's talk about volume, gain, right? All of that and what does that mean? So gain, gain is the overall quality of the sound. One way that was explained was like a, like a river or like basically the water source coming to your house. That is the gain, right? While the faucet is the volume. Okay. You can't control how much gain is coming in with the volume. You can only express as much of it. If you try to open it up all the way and maybe put a, a something to pull more water out, you're just going to be forcing the system. So think of it like that. Uh, I don't know if any of those analogies help you, but the gain is the energy output of the device. So if we're cranking our microphones up or down, right? That is the energy that can be created by the de device. They sell some things to boost that signal. If you're having trouble, like the Sure mics, uh, I was reading, not the one that you have or the one we're getting, but the, the bigger one, that one is known to be like a low mic, right? So there's a device that plugs in between to boost that signal so that it's higher gains, right? Now, what happens is that this mic here has its own gain. Now, the wireless receiver has its own gain, rather the wireless mic. The receiver has its own gain, and then the mic has its own gain. So if this mic isn't outputting enough, and then we're trying to compensate by any of these other aspects down the river, we're, we're going to be trying to draw out energy where there is an energy. So what really matters is this mic, the gain of this mic. If I were using the wireless mic, the gain of that mic is what matters, right? The rest of them can be kind of neutral, right? They, I put them at 0, 0.0, right? So this mic is cranked up to 4 right now. This one is cranked up to 12, right? I cranked these up to 12 because I lowered the receiver to 0, and the reason for that was once I lowered the receiver to zero, the gain on the receiver, these, the output of these was super low. It was like whispering. So I cranked those up individually to, to 12. And basically these two are working in tandem by using what the output of this and the output of this, because this is still acting like a mic, even though it's connected to another mic because that's the signal that it's sending to the receiver. Now, what we had before, the settings that we had before, was the receiver had the gains up, and then the Mevo cameras themselves had auto gain, meaning that the gain was turned on in those, they were trying to increase the gain, but the, re the signal was coming in already lower, so the camera was trying to increase that signal. There was nothing to increase, so all it did was increase noise. There's a lot of me background noise. That's why. And there was another setting that I turned on on the Mevo cameras, which is uh, for audio, which is speech. So speech really cleared it up, make, made it a richer, deeper sound for speech, as opposed to uh, it, it was on auto, trying to capture all the sounds going on. So now it knows what to focus on. With the XLR mics that, that we're going to be using from now on, we're going to be recording the uh, audio on a separate piece on that device, right? So we can tune a little bit in the mic on the mics with that. We'll use the headphones. I think we'll start using the headphones now. I ordered headphones to go with the whole kind of system so we can adjust the volumes and we can have kind of clear volumes. Cause like one of the things that happened with the last recording was that I told you my mic recording recorded at a higher volume, yours at a lower volume, right? We couldn't hear each other's. So we had different settings and, and also the mics are different. So using the mics will allow us to tune everything evenly. So we have a kind of a consistency along the conversation. If someone speaks lower, someone speaks higher, we can adjust the volumes for that using the headphones. Again, there's, there's going to be a separate recording that we're going to have to align to the video footage. However, we use the Mevo cameras or we use uh, the, if we end up getting uh, better cameras, video, audio. 
but we have the option of using this setup with the wireless mics onto the Amiibo cameras is going to sound much cleaner, much better than it has before. To create that richer, deeper tone, that's what these mics and the mics that we're getting, that's what they create. They give you kind of that, that hyper-focus on audio quality, like in uh, on the radio sound. That's what these create. They create richer tones on top and bottom and everything in between. So that's the quality of that. But the wireless mics are still going to have pretty decent quality. It just tends to be a little bit flatter without that richer, deeper tone. Uh, and they also capture a little bit more of the ambient noises that because they're traveling and they have to be able to receive that. While our mics, we get close and we can have that signal coming in. I had the receiver on a different screen, but right now I can see like here, if I talk here, I'm too loud, right? It lets me see where I'm pitching off. We're gonna be able to see that and receive that in live time. Now, if I go adjusting the gain onto here, hello, 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 hello. Okay, so if you notice, it still sounds good. It still sounds rich. I was able to cut down some of that top where it was clipping off a little bit. So now it should sound better. If I want, really wanted to focus on this format, I would lower the gains on the, the, these mics and it will bring it down, keep us in the middle. 